In a stunning display of technological prowess and defiance, Chinese scientists have achieved a monumental breakthrough, effectively thumbing their noses at U.S. sanctions designed to stifle their progress, while the U.S. continues its futile attempts to maintain its dwindling dominance by imposing heavy-handed restrictions on China's technological advancements. The East has responded with a masterstroke that not only bypasses these sanctions, but also challenges the very foundation of U.S. technological hegemony. This seismic shift in the balance of power is not just a testament to China's ingenuity, but a stark reminder of the West's increasingly desperate measures to cling to a rapidly fading supremacy. Critics argue that these sanctions are nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to curb competition, revealing the hypocrisy and fear underpinning U.S. policy as the world watches this high-stakes game of technological brinkmanship unfold. One thing is clear, the days of Western unilateralism are numbered. Stay with us till the end as we delve deep into this explosive development and its far-reaching implications. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Chinese researchers have discovered an economical way to mass-produce optical chips, which could potentially soften the impact of U.S. sanctions. Chinese researchers have developed a cost-effective technique for mass-producing optical chips, crucial for supercomputers and data centers, potentially circumventing U.S. sanctions. South China Morning Post reported on Monday, the breakthrough involves photonic integrated circuits picks, which utilize light particles to process and transmit data enhancing speed and reducing energy use. These chips are integral to fiber optic communications and the burgeoning field of photonic computing, according to UXN, a professor at the Shanghai Institute of Microsystem and Information Technology, and Tobias Kippenberg from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Lausanne. The high costs and limited wafer size have previously restricted the industrial adoption of this technology. Their findings were detailed in a recent Nature publication. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots. So your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The team chose lithium tantalate, Li Tao 3 over the commonly used lithium neobate for its superior properties and compatibility with low-cost, large-scale production methods similar to those used for silicon. This material is already in use for 5G radio frequency filters in smartphones, indicating its commercial viability. The new method involves deep ultraviolet stepper-based manufacturing, allowing the creation of low-loss picks. This advancement is expected to help China mitigate the effects of stringent export controls and sanctions from the U.S. and its allies, which target China's access to advanced chips and manufacturing equipment. A startup linked to the Shanghai Institute, Novel Sci Integration Technology, can already produce 8-inch wafers using lithium tantalate and has developed methods for commercial micromanufacturing. This positions China to potentially lead in the production of domestic optical and radio frequency chips. The breakthrough in optical chip production by Chinese scientists comes against the backdrop of escalating tensions between the United States and China over technological supremacy. The tightening of U.S. semiconductor export regulations in October affected companies like NVIDIA Core and advanced micro devices, reflecting growing discord between the two nations. Moreover, the Biden administration's recent revocation of export licenses to Huawei from major U.S. chipmakers like Broadcom and advanced micro devices underscores the strategic importance of semiconductor technology in U.S.-China relations. Furthermore, the upcoming discussions in Geneva between the U.S. and China, as reported by Benzinga, on the risks of advanced artificial intelligence, indicate a broader engagement on technological issues. The U.S. stance on not negotiating its policies during these talks suggests a firm approach to maintaining its technological edge. The recent breakthrough in China's optical chip production underscores the nation's resilience and innovation in the face of adversity. This technological leap is not just a scientific achievement. It's a strategic maneuver in the ongoing U.S.-China technological rivalry, with the U.S. imposing stricter sanctions and export controls. China's ability to develop and mass-produce advanced chips 
domestically is a significant step towards self-reliance in critical technologies. The use of lithium tantalate light tile 303 in optical chips presents a notable shift from traditional materials. This choice is driven by its superior properties and cost-effective production capabilities. Lithium tantalate's compatibility with existing silicon-based manufacturing processes makes it an attractive option for large-scale production. The material's established use in 5G radio frequency filters further validates its commercial viability, suggesting a smoother transition to mass production of optical chips. The deep ultraviolet stepper-based manufacturing technique employed by Chinese researchers is a game-changer. This method allows for the creation of low-loss photonic integrated circuits, which are essential for high-performance computing and telecommunications. The ability to produce these circuits at a lower cost and on a larger scale could accelerate the adoption of photonic computing, which promises significant improvements in speed and energy efficiency over traditional electronic computing. The strategic implications of this breakthrough are profound. By developing the capability to produce advanced optical chips domestically, China can reduce its dependency on foreign technologies and mitigate the impact of U.S. sanctions. This move aligns with China's broader goal of achieving technological self-sufficiency. A key component of its national strategy, the involvement of novel sci integration technology, a startup linked to the Shanghai Institute, highlights the collaborative effort between academic institutions and the private sector in advancing China's technological capabilities. This synergy is crucial for translating research breakthroughs into commercially viable products. The production of 8 inch wafers using lithium tantalate by novel sci integration technology signifies a major milestone in the commercialization of this technology. The broader geopolitical context cannot be ignored. The escalating tensions between the U.S. and China over technological dominance are reshaping global supply chains and innovation ecosystems. The U.S. has been tightening its grip on semiconductor exports to China, aiming to curb the latter's technological advancements. However, China's recent progress in optical chip production suggests that it is making significant strides towards overcoming these barriers. The impact of U.S. semiconductor export regulations on companies like NVIDIA Core and advanced micro devices underscores the intertwined nature of global tech industries. These regulations not only affect Chinese companies, but also have ripple effects across the global supply chain. The revocation of export licenses to Huawei by the Biden administration is a clear indication of the strategic importance of semiconductor technology in the U.S.-China rivalry. Huawei, a leading player in 5G technology, has been a focal point of U.S. sanctions, reflecting broader concerns about China's technological rise. The upcoming discussions in Geneva between the U.S. and China on the risks of advanced artificial intelligence are a critical juncture in their bilateral relations. These talks, while focusing on AI, also highlight the broader technological competition between the two nations. The U.S. firm's stance on not negotiating its policies during these discussions indicates a resolve to maintain its technological edge. The breakthrough in optical chip production by Chinese scientists is a testament to the nation's resilience and innovation in the face of external pressures. This development not only advances China's technological capabilities, but also has significant implications for the global tech landscape. As the U.S. and China continue to vie for technological supremacy, such breakthroughs will play a crucial role in shaping the future of global technology and innovation. The advancements in optical chip technology are not just limited to academic research and theoretical applications. They have practical, real-world implications that extend to various industries and sectors. Optical chips, with their ability to process and transmit data at the speed of light, are poised to revolutionize fields such as telecommunications, data centers, and high-performance computing. In telecommunications, the integration of optical chips can significantly enhance the speed and efficiency of data transmission. This is particularly relevant in the era of 5G and the upcoming 6T technologies, where the demand for faster and more reliable data transfer is ever-increasing. Optical chips can help meet this demand by enabling higher bandwidth and lower latency, thus improving the overall performance of communication networks. Data centers, which are the backbone of modern digital infrastructure, stand to benefit immensely from the adoption of optical chips. These chips can dramatically reduce the energy consumption and heat generation in data centers, leading to more sustainable and cost-effective operations. 
By improving the efficiency of data processing and transmission, optical chips can also enhance the performance of cloud computing services and big data analytics, which are critical for various applications, including AIA machine learning and Internet of Things, e-technologies, high-performance computing, HPP, another area where optical chips can make a substantial impact. HPC systems are used for complex computations in scientific research, financial modeling, and other data-intensive tasks. The speed and efficiency of optical chips can accelerate these computations, enabling faster and more accurate results. This can lead to breakthroughs in fields such as climate modeling, drug discovery, and advanced manufacturing. The development and commercialization of optical chips also have significant economic implications. As China advances in this technology, it can create new opportunities for domestic industries and boost economic growth. The establishment of a robust optical chip manufacturing ecosystem can attract investments, create jobs, and stimulate innovation in related fields. Moreover, China's progress in optical chip technology can enhance its competitive position in the global tech market by reducing its reliance on foreign technologies. China can mitigate the risks associated with supply chain disruptions and geopolitical tensions. This self-reliance can also give China more leverage in international negotiations and collaborations, allowing it to assert its interests more effectively on the global stage. The breakthrough in optical chip production is a clear demonstration of China's commitment to advancing its technological capabilities. Despite the challenges posed by U.S. sanctions and export controls, China has shown resilience and determination in pursuing its technological goals. This achievement underscores the importance of continued investment in research and development, as well as the need for strategic collaborations between academic institutions and the private sector. The implications of this breakthrough extend beyond China and the U.S. to the broader global tech landscape. As optical chip technology advances and becomes more widely adopted, it can drive innovation and growth across various industries worldwide. Countries that invest in this technology can position themselves as leaders in the next wave of technological advancements, shaping the future of global innovation. The recent advancements in optical chip technology by Chinese researchers represent a significant milestone in the ongoing U.S.-China technological rivalry. This breakthrough not only demonstrates China's resilience and innovation in the face of external pressures, but also has far-reaching implications for the global tech landscape. As optical chip technology continues to evolve and mature, it has the potential to revolutionize various industries, enhance economic growth, and reshape the future of global technology and innovation. The strategic importance of this development cannot be overstated. Optical chips, with their superior data processing and transmission capabilities, are poised to become a cornerstone of next-generation technologies. As industries increasingly rely on high-speed, low-latency communication and data processing, the demand for advanced optical chips will continue to grow. This presents a unique opportunity for China to establish itself as a global leader in this critical technology. The success of Chinese researchers in developing cost-effective methods for mass-producing optical chips is a testament to their ingenuity and determination. By leveraging advanced materials and innovative manufacturing techniques, they have overcome significant challenges that previously hindered the industrial adoption of photonic integrated circuits. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.